Hello everyone, it's Cleo here and today I'm going to be showing you some fake LPS I bought on eBay. Now this was a random surprise lot of 15 LPS so I have no idea what I've got here today. Let's take a look at them. Okay, first up we have this little pink owl and I'm gonna say it doesn't look so awesome. Okay, as you can see it's a rather nice raspberry pink colour but there are quite a few problems with this little bird. Let's go over them. Okay, first up is the horrendous milky quality of the printing. It's all gone wrong here, there's not enough paint and there's certainly not enough clarity. As you can see it's all kind of a fake gradient thing going on here, I don't think it was supposed to be looking at the top there. The eyes are very obviously milky and are in strange purple and yellow just merging in together. The beak is black and the paint is leaking into the yellow here. The bow's supposed to be purple but is barely painted at all. They're also kind of sticky, not so great. The body doesn't quite match the head colour. And the feet are painted okay I suppose. Now, another problem with this bird is the fact that its head doesn't bobble, it just turns from side to side. Not great either. There really aren't very many points to commend this little dude. I'm also pretty convinced this thing is smaller than its real counterpart. This is actually a little worse than I was expecting. They weren't the cheapest things ever, but they certainly look like the cheapest things ever, I've got to say. Okay, next up we have this fake G3 cat, which on the face of it doesn't look so bad, but there are some problems with it. Okay, first of all, I will say I do like this nice sandy colour of it, but why is there this yellow ribbon on its head that's blending in with the colour? Why are the eyes all stretched out and distorted and falling off its face? Why is there a white line on its head? Why does it have a hole in its nose? Why are there still seams breaking off on the plastic here? Look at the edge of the tail there. It's still got it from the edge of the mould. No. Of course, this pet's head doesn't bobble either, but it's G3, so that's okay. Well, it's a fake G3. But there is a problem with it. The head is squeegee. Hooray. I'm not sure it's supposed to be like that. These are so low quality, it's very disappointing. Next up we have this very odd looking orange penguin. Let's give it a little twirl. Okay, I don't have anything good to say about this, I don't think. I'm gonna say, I really don't like the colour, why should a penguin be bright orange? It doesn't go with the aesthetic at all in my opinion. And it's got this very bright yellow. The beak is painted a dark orange, but that's kind of bleeding out into the yellow here. The eyes are printed off centre and seem to be looking in different directions. They look all mightily strange. The poor thing's head is not squishy, but it's actually dented in there, which doesn't look great either. Its head once again doesn't bobble, it just kind of turns side to side and up and down a bit. I'm not sure it's supposed to do the up and down thing, but it's doing it anyway. And the colour of the body and the head don't match properly. Yep, that's not looking awesome either. I don't know why its head is all squished, it looks like it's partially melted. Okay, next up we have a much better one, which is this cute little crouching kitten. Okay, in the case of this one, it's a much more appealing, very bright white colour, and the mould does seem to be an exact replica of the real one. Once again though, its head does not bobble, it just turns from side to side, but it does work a lot better than the last three. Its eyes are in that rather strange G3 style where they put a blue sparkle in it for some reason, but I think it looks a lot better than that strange penguin. This is definitely the best so far, I do quite like it. I think if you put some more details on it, it could make a really cute custom because I think white cats always look pretty. Unfortunately, once again though, its head does squish in. Like that. Yeah, not so great. Better than the other three, for sure. Okay, with this next one we have a lilac horse and we've gone from much better to much worse. Okay, first though, I will say I do quite like the colour. Unfortunately, the tail isn't painted, its mane isn't painted, it has no extra details, it just has a purple eye. Which doesn't look so great on this side because it's printed outside of the shape of the eye here. It's kind of falling off its face. Not great. It's also really bendy. As you can see, the plastic's too soft. Just flip its legs all over the place, which it's not supposed to do, I don't think. Look, it's getting a party started there. Once again, its head is really squishy and just turn side to side a bit. Why is it so squidgy? Why is everything so squishy? Why? These are so cheapy. Okay, I've got one that's even worse now. We've got a strange rat mongoose ferrety thing. I'm really not sure it's some kind of 
rodenty type thing. It's that same rather unattractive neon orange colour, has those same ugly seams, and has the strangest face you've ever seen on a toy. Okay, where do we start? For a start, the mold is just ugly to me anyway. There's no way of saving this, but I think they could have afforded to finish the printing around the eyes. As you can see there, it's incomplete. And it's also outside of bounds. It's gone way too high. Why? The only good thing is they've managed to paint inside the ears and kept roughly within the bounds. The eyes are milky like on some of the other pets, but it doesn't look great, does it? Not too awesome. Next up we have this strange little green rabbit who is completely unable to stand up, so I'm gonna have to hold him up. Okay, first of all, the colour combination of this horrible yellow with this mint green colour automatically makes it look fake. Let's give it a little twirl. Well, the first thing I notice is it's got a big dint in the back of its head. Yep, looks like it's been melted. It hasn't, I don't think, it's just the way it's come. The plastic isn't squishy this time, but it's, it's no better for it, really. The eyes are a bright emerald green colour, and it, it, not very well printed, though at least they're not milky I suppose, but they're not done very well. Around the back of its little fringe here, the paint's kind of too thin, it's not printed on properly, and the head can just about turn but it's pretty stiff. Its nose hasn't been moulded properly, there's just kind of a dint going in there, my nail just lodges into it. And I don't really have much positive to say about this one. The colours look awful and it looks like it's been partially melted. Poor thing, what happened to you? Next up we have this quite creepy looking fox, I think. Its sand colour body is alright, but I think that's where the positives end. Let's give it a little twirl and we'll go over the vast number of problems with this pet. Okay, first, the printing on top of its head is pretty much terrible. The gradient here isn't a gradient, it just goes into a kind of fuzz. It hasn't been finished off the top of its head here. Its eyes are kind of within bounds, but look super creepy and way too far apart. There are little holes in its fur details here that were obviously made when it was being moulded. Little bubbles in there. Great. Its head, of course, is super squishy, the squishiest so far. And there's even a hole at the side of its head because it's so thin, that plastic. I've seen better plastic on packaging for food, and the heads, of course, come off extremely easily. So bad, it almost hurts. Look at that. Why? Why? Why was it even made? And there you go. This fox looks like it's seen some stuff. Oh, and his head's also super wonky. As you can see, it doesn't sit straight. To make him look even more like a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of LPS. Next up, I have kind of a guinea pig type pet. Not sure. Of course, as you can plainly see, this is yet another one in that ghastly highlighter pen orange. The moulding is still off on this thing because it looks like it's kind of melting down its neck here, the plastic. Has it moulded properly and the head will come off super easily here. It's barely staying on. Its eyes are printed slightly outside of bounds because it's been stretched for some reason. I think it's supposed to be a little more round without that bit going on there. This one's looking a little better than the other eye, but not too awesome. And of course the plastic once again is so squidgy you can turn it round like that. Oh yes. Next up we have this poor little corgi. What have they done to you? Okay, we'll say, I think the mold is quite cute, and the colour is quite nice, that kind of wet sand colour. And I think the positives end there. Okay, first of all, this gradient looks really bad because it's thinner here than it is elsewhere. It's off to the side slightly, his nose is off-centre. This eye is clearly a lot bigger than this one, and is printed off to the side once again. This one is overlapping with the gradient paint here, when it's really not supposed to. There's no bobble in this pet's head, it just stiffly turns. It's a little less squishy than the other heads, but eh, you can still squish it. This one looks particularly ridiculous just because of how big that eye is compared to that one, and just how far off centre it is. Look at this poor thing. You know, it could have been quite cute if they'd done it well, but it's not. And also this bright pink is too bright. Next up we have this little white bear, who I'm sad to say at this point is one of the very best ones. She's quite a nice bright white colour. Her eyes are reasonably cleanly printed, of course there's a weird pink shine in them because that's the G3 style unfortunately, but her nose is printed in the right place without any dints or bubbles. Her eyes are pretty much within bounds, I think this one might be a little high but it's not terribly noticeable. The little hearts in its ears are printed sharply and cleanly and are in the right places. It's a little bit misty around here with the pink. But I can get over that, it's on skin, it's looking an awful lot better, and the colour scheme is a lot better because it's tying in with the pink of its nose and the pink over here. 
Unfortunately, it's got a little bit frilly around here, but it's not so noticeable as other flaws on the other pets. Of course, the head once again just turns from side to side, but that's okay, it is based on a G3 mold. Its head is, is squishy. Yeah, but you know, if you, if you didn't squish it like that, you wouldn't really know the difference. So that's actually reasonably cute. That one's okay. Next up, we have this little beaver, and we're back to being really bad again. He won't even sit up. There we go, okay, I've just about gone to do it. Okay, once again, I quite like the colour and the positives end just about there. Okay, first of all, he has a very strange yellow nose, which is printed off to one side and is painted on too thinly. His teeth have been painted, sort of, kind of. I mean, they're printed off to the side, but at least they tried. The printing around this eye here is really weird. Why are there randomly coloured flowers around here? Why is it so milky? Why green, blue and pink around its eye? This eye also goes a little bit milky around the edges here. There are random unfinished painted yellow stars here. And then on top of the head it gets even worse. It's supposed to be painting in the fringe here, but it's completely missed the mark. And then we have stripes that are outside the line here. Just coming off the fringe onto here, ending in a straight ribbon-like line. Even though this didn't make it to the ends of the fringe there, it looks absolutely terrible. Why? Needless to say, his head doesn't bobble either, but we'll give him the squish test. He's a little less squishy, but you can still do that pretty easily. Wow, that looks really bad, that one. Once again, he looks like he's seen some stuff. Okay, next up, we have this mint green cat. It is also not looking great. Okay, I quite like his little pose, and I think the colour sort of suits a cat, but that, once again, is where the positives end for me. Okay, first and foremost, it has a hole instead of a nose. Once again, a bubble must have been made in the plastic mould, and they just left it there, so it's left a little hole. What kind of nose job did she have? I think she needs a refund. I think she needs to sue. Her eyes are okay, I suppose. I mean, they're not milky. This is a little bit outside of bounds there. They'll do compared to the other ones. Unfortunately, the plastic hasn't been moulded flatly, so this foot just kind of sits off the ground there. It's a wonder she can balance. I think it's only because her tail touches the ground. There's a dirty mark on the end of her tail here, and I'm not going to think too hard about what that might be. And her head is looking kind of melty, for want of a better word, round the back here. Yep, not looking great. And her head, of course, like all of them, well, pretty much all of them, squidges in. It's a little less squishy than some of them, but still pretty bad. At least her head doesn't come off so easily. That's something. Next up, we have this white elephant. Nothing to do with the gift exchange. Like our previous two white ones, this is actually a slightly better one. The moulding looks a little better than the others. The eyes, although not perfect, are pretty much within bounds. They're looking okay. The fringe printing is more or less where it should be. It's a little off-centre, but not too noticeably. Its head moves quite nicely. And let's give it the squish test. It does squidge in, but a lot less easily, so it's a lot better than the other ones. This is a bit of a problem, because once again, around the bottom of the neck here, we're getting kind of melty. Let's see if it comes off easily. Okay, it will come off. Not as easily as some of them, though. It's not actually falling off. I quite like the colours, it's just the simple white with the purple and pink. So it's a better one than usual. This one is actually kind of cute in its own way. Okay, last but not least, we have this sheepdog who has more issues than a popular magazine. Okay, I will say, the first thing about it, I do like their attempt to colour scheme. And that's about it. See, it won't even stand up. Okay, first of all, the printing on the end of its fur hair is so milky and messy that it's gone all the way onto its nose hair. Or at least what would be its nose if they printed it in the nose area. Look at it, it's falling onto its mouth. Look, that's where its nose should be, right here where all that white is. But instead, it's falling onto its mouth there. Great. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera here, but the white of its eye is completely falling out of bounds and falling down its face. It should be moved up all the way there, but it's all the way down here instead, leaving this part weirdly empty. The face printing's gone milky over here. It's just looking okay on this ear. They've tried to paint the flower pink, but it's completely fallen outside of bounds over here. The yellow is falling onto the petals, which should be in the centre, and they haven't painted on the right bits here. Its head looks oddly shrunken when you compare it to the legitimate LPS version, and it's also hanging off too much to the front, bending over. As you can see, it doesn't sit straight. Its head moves kind of stiffly, and we're going to give it that infamous squish test. Oh, it's really squishy. Well, because it's already bending in. It looks like its face is kind of 
squished in here as you can see. That doesn't look right, does it? It looks like it's flopping over itself and its head looks way too flat. These fakes are so bad, it's rather funny. So here are the strange little things all together. Yep, that's a motley crew for you. So what do you think to these fake LPS? Do you think they were better than I said they were? Were they even worse than I said they were? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to let me know which one you think was the best and which one you think was the worst pet. For me, the best is this cat because I think it's naturally the cutest and probably the best printing on it. And the worst is this fox because of all the points I made about it earlier. Look at it, it looks awful. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching!